Hello everyone. I'm so glad we're here. Something that's been on my mind a lot is speaking truth, being truthful, seeing truth. When we get inside of ourselves to listen to our channeled thoughts of individuality, energetic pulls to see the way to the things that we see within ourselves already, our passions. The outside social conditioning can have us confused. It does have us confused. And now we're pulling back the veil to who we are. And we're pulling back the veil of the things that are happening on the outside of us as well. And that can cause us to go through all sorts of different levels in our consciousness as we're purging things from our past. We're recognizing and embracing and purging blocks, energetic blocks that have been within our psyche. We're healing our bodies. And the way to do that is through thought. A lot of people message me and they want to know how to activate their pineal gland or all of these things. And I understand that. But the way to activate self is by raising our energy, activating our brain by being happier. We can reach on the outside of ourselves for things to create greatness within ourselves, but those that is not where we find our true ether. Once we realize that while the, outs the outside world is just there as a teaching tool to show us the way to be and not be, it's up to the individual to choose that path for themselves. And so when we cut ourselves off from being guided by the outside and just use it as a tool, that's when we can clear our thoughts out of our mind to be able to hear the channeled truths, the guided individual information for ourselves and then the guided information about other people feeling energy our empathic abilities of sensitivity we're really just like a big antenna satellite just like the moon and the other planets in our solar system and beyond um, we're all here to send signals that's what we do and when we realize that the vessel is the conduit for that we can get outside of ourselves from the humanistic realm of living by our emotions rather than creating them the life this life that we live is human because we are in a human body but it's really an energetic force field of creation and when we start to understand that our thoughts are the fuel for the machine for the signal that we're channeling out. We can actually change the way that we view everything and it creates um, a happier life. It creates more peace, more balance to be able to shift through the things that don't create balance or that feel unbalanced because all of those things are just tools too. That's the outside social conditioning. We can either create the frequency that we want around us or we can tap into the frequency that's already there I like to do both the frequency isn't always what I like it in every place that I'm at so either I choose to change the frequency or I leave the place the same thing with people same thing with myself we don't have to tolerate or put up with anything that we don't want to and that starts from within ourselves if you change the way you think, if you change the way you talk to, it, to a way that feels good to you, you will create that same magic on the outside of yourself. It's just the inevitable, it, it's just, it's the law of attraction. It's the natural response to energy. And so while that process may not feel, what it may feel painful because it is it's shedding people it's shedding every way that we've thought about things to redirect that those thoughts into a more authentic light we don't change who we are we just tap into who we are we enhance and it's a destructive process people get mad at us we get mad at ourselves it, it, it it's not 
a gentle process of elimination, but it takes the awareness that it's not to make it more gentle. Um, if you don't like something that you're thinking within yourself, stop thinking it. That doesn't mean that it's going to stop the minute you tell yourself. It's about reprogramming. It's just like, think of yourself, the human vessel as a computer program. We get upgraded and updated every second because there's cellular regeneration going on within our bodies. DNA activation is happening. We are, receive, we are receiving ascension energies. So we can't keep ourselves in the same frame of mind as we were five minutes ago. You have the freedom to make the choice of what you want to do with your mind and your body to a degree. We can enhance it. We can lower it. We can, you know, there's all sorts of ways that we can choose to live in this vessel. We have partial control over it. And so instead of talking about the ways that you don't like your life, instead of talking the ways that things that you don't like about yourself, change those things. And it all starts with thought. It doesn't mean that you have to go out and change where you're living and change your job immediately. Just set things in motion through thought. It literally is that easy to manifest. All we have to do is just talk, open ourselves up to receive by just thinking those things in our mind, which I'm sure we're all already doing, and start to put those things in action on the outside of our, ourselves too. You know, I'm one that's quick to pick up a bag and move anywhere. Because uh, if I don't like a situation or something that I'm doing or whatever's going on within me, uh, I'm learning to change that pretty quickly, quicker than I used to. It's just about quieting the mind to listen to the thoughts between our thoughts. The things that we hear when we clear out our humanistic thoughts or the thoughts that are there to channel for, that are there that are channeled to us to help guide. And so it just takes the realization that, the human is not that difficult. It's not that difficult. To, we're not that hard to figure out. It's not rocket science. <laughs> oh, It's fun, you know, even though it's really difficult and really hard sometimes, and I just want to bang my head up against the wall. Um, it really is just a trip. And so I laugh at everything because it feels so much better than crying out of pain. You know, we don't have to, we don't have to create more pain than what we're going to feel in life anyway, because we are going to feel pain. So create the greatness that you want within you and know that part of that greatness is pain. Self-awareness is the key to ascension. I love you to the moon family. Have a wonderful day.